Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I thought I would take you through the new latest Tesla uh, Android app. Now, this has recently been updated uh, in the last couple of months. And I've had the car now for oh, just over a month. Um, so I have the latest version. So let's just jump straight in. Um, so... You obviously download the app on the store and if we click on the app you can uh, immediately see um, there are changes from the last version so initially you see what car you have um, it will be the color that you have um, so it should pretty much look the same as your spec car this one's got the same wheels that I have uh, and color now, so if we start at the top left, um, Model 3, that will be whatever you name your car will come up there. Underneath that, you then have the battery. Now, depending on what your setting is in the car, whether it's on percentage or miles, this will change as well and show. And then, obviously, we have then parked. Uh, you have four quick buttons. So these are what Tesla think are the most commonly used so you have the lock key for locking and unlocking the car you have your immediate climate control um, and as you can also see when you turn the climate control you can see the fans in the car <laughs> which is pretty cool so that's heating the car up you can turn that off as well you then have your charging flap And you have your frunk button as well. So that will unlock your frunk. Now, um, below this is a list of the drill down menus. So the first one we have is control. So if we click on that, gives us um, a larger view of the car. Again, you can open the frunk. You can open the boot, uh, lock the car, unlock the car. Um, open the charge port you can see it opening there and close the charge port and below here um, you have some other quick buttons as well now you have flash and honk which come in handy if you're in a very large car park and you can't quite remember where your car was parked you have the quick start button and the vent windows so if it's a very hot day um, you can vent the windows it will just lower the windows slightly and let some fresh air into the car before you go down and get in the car right below that we can then go down to climate and on here you now see the interior of the car and you have the controls of all the different climate now i have just the model 3 standard range plus so it has the heated seats so you can click on the heated seats um, if you have a heated steering wheel, you'll be able to press that. And also if you have rear heated seats as well. Um, and then you can change your temperature. Turn it off. Again, you can also vent the windows here. And also it has a defrost function as well for those really cold mornings. You can defrost all the windows and get the car all toasty before you get in there. Below that, we then have location. So this will tell you where you are at the time. Um, I found it's not particularly useful um, using the map within the app. And, and I'll show you how you can send your navigation route via Google Maps after this. Uh, you then have schedule. So this allows you to schedule... Uh, precondition the car for climate and also preheat the battery you can just click the clock or you can type it in and you can set that uh, for weekdays or all week um, also if you have a home charger you can uh, schedule your charging for when it's cheaper to charge as well um, i don't currently have one so the charge function i don't really use let's go back to the main menu so below that you then have security so 
this gives you the ability to switch on your sentry mode um, a valet mode as well which i can't really see any use for unless you are going to a hotel maybe and you can do a speed limit mode as well so i suppose if you have a secondary person who's driving the car you can limit the speed as well now sentry mode this is android so this doesn't have the latest live stream available at the moment i think that's only available on ios which means that you can actually live see what's going on at the car if your sentry mode gets triggered which is really cool apparently it's going to be coming to android soon and uh, i will have a look at that when it happens uh, so below security this is your upgrade so this is just basically the tesla shop uh, not much use service so this will show you any um, services that uh, you need. You can schedule a service as well. So if you have an issue with the car, you can book it in directly through the app, which is really cool. Um, so you have the all the different functionality on that. Um, there's your history of what you've had done. I went on November the 3rd to have an issue with the 12 volt battery fixed and you can see that one there there's some video guides here on the car and also the digital owner's manual as well and then at the bottom of the page you could just see it will tell you what your miles are it'll also tell you what your vin number and that is as well so it's you know in all the cars that I've had, this is probably the best app out of all the different models um, for functionality-wise. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so I'm not sure whether if you are in the US, you have uh, some extra functionalities as well. Obviously, to do with the FSD and all that sort of thing. Now, up here in the right corner, you have your account. This is where you'll have your inbox. So if uh, you get any messages from Tesla, this is where the loot box is as well, which is basically your referral link. Uh, details of your account and your app settings. So and this is where you can sign in the sign out, upload your picture. So that's basically the car um app itself now i did mention about navigation so the best way to do that is come out of the app go to your google maps now type in a place just type in a place a car park here click on that and then if you then go down to the share button at the bottom, find your Tesla app button, click that. And that will then be sent to your Tesla. When you get in the car, that will automatically then be uploaded onto your navigation, which is really cool. I hope that this has uh, been helpful. You know, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, and subscribe uh, smash that notification bell and you'll be notified of when these videos are released um, and i will be releasing some more videos later on in the week to do with the interior space on the tesla as well so safe driving and i'll catch up with you in the next video